Hi, my name is Helena, and this will be um, a general night nightly reading that um, I'll be just picking up on. I'll try to pick up on at least three different messages for everyone. Um, while I'm doing the reading tonight, the energies may last longer depending on your individual situation. So it can last any time really depending on what wants to come through okay so let's get started what can the viewers expect what what is going on with the people that are going to watch this video tonight what is going on with them Okay, so you have the Five of Cups reversed. This is the Tarot of the Secret Forest deck. This is what the Five of Cups looks like upright. You have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And the Ten of Swords reversed. So, what I'm getting is that you may have reunited with someone from your past. This might have been a quarrel that you had with your boyfriend or girlfriend and you broke up for a short amount of time and then you got back together. It could, you could have been broken up for a few months, a few weeks, or whatever. But although you've reunited with this person... A lot of your fears are relieved, yet there's really no fulfillment in this relationship. It's almost like there's not anything there anymore. There's no friendship. There's no happiness. There's no anger, but there's there's not really like a spark there anymore. I feel like there might be just going through the routine of things like shower, go to work, come home, watch TV. Your partner might be absorbed in the matrix, so to speak, while you are um you are awakened. And you want your partner to awaken with you, but they are focused on watching TV or what's the latest thing in the news. And they have no room for any intellectual conversation with you or any emotional exchange of any kind. Sex could even be... Uh, not what you need it to be right now and you're feeling like you need a change let's see how is this situation going to better itself what's going to happen with the situation please give us greater insight Okay, so you got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse again. This time it's inverted. This is a two-sided deck. See, colored side, and then you have the black and white side. 
You have the Ten of Pentacles upright and the Five of Wands in reverse. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that maybe there is some some uh, disagreement about how money should be spent. It might be your belief or your partner's belief that you to have a, accumulated enough money to go and travel and have fun and do all these fun things um, that you first wanted when you first got together. But now, even though there, there seems to be enough um, financial abundance to do all these things, these beautiful things that you want to do, one of you is feeling like they need to hold on to the money and save every last penny and it's driving you insane and that could have been why you two were fighting in the past you have this five of wands here and that's in reverse so maybe in the past you guys have had some um, arguments about the way money is spent and one of you feels like the other needs to loosen up a little bit. So what I'm seeing is if if there's any way to get through to the other one or maybe pick that topic back up again and maybe now is a better time to discuss it in depth more about traveling, about expenses, about the pros and cons of spending that money versus not spending it and weighing it out in a open-minded fashion between you two I see that some compromises can be made that can make both of you happy and possibly wake your partner up a little bit out of this this spot that they're in this stagnant mental emotional physical spot that they're in okay so let's see. Let's try to find a. Uh, let's try to get an, another message. Okay, please give us another message for the people that are going to watch this video tonight. Please give the viewers watching this video another message. Thank you. Okay, moon in reverse. Knight of Pentacles upright. King of Pentacles upright. And in this deck, the King of Pentacles is um, someone who is attached to something, okay? If you're a woman, I see that um, someone has been watching you. an older man perhaps someone that you knew in the past this person can be either be an earth sign or have heavy earth influences in their chart as well as water influences so they could have any combination of earth and water in their chart with more emphasis on um, the earth and with the water any water energy that they have um, obviously you can look at their chart and see what's going on but I'm guessing that 
the placements of the water signs or planets in the water signs in their chart is on the more the more Scorpio energy, the more eighth house energy is what I'm getting here. Okay. This person might be, be heading in your direction soon, sooner than later. And I see they could be um, bringing a gift to toward you. Something of uh, monetary value. This could be jewelry. This could be actual money, cash, um, a check. If you're selling your house, this could actually be um, a buyer, that you find a buyer. Could be a younger male or um, a younger father-son. I mean, a father and his younger son um, buying a house together might give you an offer. There might actually be uh, a few one or more families offering this to you. There could be a mother and a father and a child offer. There could be like a, you know, a younger person offering. And I'm seeing that the younger person might actually have a better offer for you. Okay, so like if you're a woman and this earth sign is coming towards you, there could be an, another woman in the picture, possibly a Scorpio woman, who is not doing good at all. It's almost like she's incapacitated mentally, emotionally, could be a heavy drinker. She could be um, having health problems such as kidney failure. She could be on dialysis. She could be experiencing cancer, but if you have um, an earth sign male moving towards you ladies, they could have a mate that isn't doing so well. Or they could have an ex-girlfriend or an ex-wife that is not doing too well that could uh, honestly and um, legit need them right now to where they cannot humanly leave this person out in the cold without feeling like a really bad person okay so I feel like this person is gonna come forth and talk to you about this soon and it's gonna make so much more sense as to why the what and the why's and all that kind of stuff that you've been wondering lately for some of them it's their mother who's in this way it could be their grandmother, their mother, who is in this way with the bad health. Um, could be bad mental health. They could just be, um, you know, really causing like an uproar in the family because of their mental health issues. There might be just a lot of dramas playing out within that realm of mental health crises, okay? So if you're waiting for someone and you're a woman and they haven't came through to speak to you yet, they could have a lot of um, types of, of crises like this that they're dealing with. I see that they want to get to you so badly and I feel like they will come forward soon. They're going to find a window of opportunity to come talk to you about this, to come explain this to you. And they feel like it's the right time, and, and, and now they feel like they can come forward with this. So, I feel like it's going to be good. I feel like they had to wait and gain up some of their confidence. With the Knight of Pentacles in the upright here, there's a lot of yellow in this card. This yellow here surrounding this Knight of Pentacles here, I see is confidence they had to build up confidence for some reason or the next they they might have uh some solar plexus blockages that they're experiencing right here with the king of pentacles there is some yellow in this card here and here 
right in here, okay? What I'm getting with that is, is more of this being like a financial accumulation, like a accumulation of wealth. They have money in the bank. They're secure. They feed themselves. They take care of their family. They... Right now, they are like the stronghold of their family. They're the glue that's keeping everything together, that's keeping everyone fed and clothed and the lights on. So, I'm seeing that a lot of tolerance might be needed in this situation, a lot of understanding, um, and that, and let's take a couple cards to see the outcome with this, okay? So please give us greater insight into what's going to happen and what's going to come of the situation, please. Thank you. Please give us greater insight into the outcome of the situation for the viewers. Thank you. For some of them, I see the worst happening to where the, um, the significant other that they were dealing with, their girlfriend, the one who has the illness, she may not make it through. Or she may, she may get even sicker at this point. She may not make it through the next few months or the next few years. And this is, because right here you've got the page of Pentacles reversed. I see this as her. She doesn't have anything more to give physically or mentally emotional. She is, for lack of better words, she's not, she's just not doing good, okay? Phys physically and health-wise. Four of Wands reversed. I honestly see this as being a funeral, guys. And so right now, if you're dealing with someone that you've been waiting for who has strong earth water energies that hasn't been coming forward, hasn't been talking to you, telling you anything that's going on, there could be some heavy, heavy shit that they're dealing with right now. <clears throat> but in the end, with this judgment inverted and upright... I see you as being a bright light for them. See, this is the other side. See that? This is, I see this as being them. You're going to be that bright angel, that bright light that helps them recover. Even if this person does make a full recovery and goes out onto their own path, I see this I see this person wishing them well and saying, you know, you know, I wish you well on your journey and I'm glad you're better. And they're still turning towards you and they're coming towards you. And I see that no matter what this situation, no matter how it turns out, you're going to be their rock. And you have an emotional wellspring of all different kinds of like if emotions and if good if good vibration and, and emotions had a, a DNA signature you would be rich in your gene pool with good emotions and good vibes and, and uh, love to give this person so I feel like 
definitely when you two come together, when they come forward and tell you what they have to tell you with this, you're going to be presented with the opportunity to be that person that they could come to and talk to about this and lean on you about this because it is affecting them greatly. And I see this as benefiting both of you in the end, you getting what you want, they getting what they need, and both of you um, building together. Um, rebuilding a new life together and just taking things very slowly taking it day by day okay so let's move on what final message do you have for the viewers tonight what do the viewers watching this video need to know tonight Queen of Wands in reverse. Three of Swords in the upright. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so if you're a fire sign female watching this and there was a situation where you were waiting for a guy who was committed to someone else, they have definitely severed ties with this person and are heading in your direction. But with this Ace of Wands in reverse, I see it as coming to you differently than they ever came to you before. Like, it's not going to be this whole um, thing based on just sex and passion. They're going to come with it just a little bit more, like, with the intellectual slant this time. And that's going to make all the difference in... Um, establishing a bond, a rapport, and a foundation to build upon. Where there was none before, I just see it was sand, it was nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I just got, it, it was like cotton candy, like building on cotton candy just wasn't even going to happen. If you're um if you're a male watching this, you might have two girls that you're trying to choose from. One you love and one you're more attracted to. The one you love might have your children or your child or you might um end up getting her pregnant. And honestly, I see that you might actually cheat on her at some point with this other girl. And I would advise against it because I see you regretting it in the future. And I see not only you hurting her, separating yourself, but you will lose the respect of the girl you cheated with. And she will leave your life and everyone will leave you and you'll be all alone if you cheat. So I just want you uh, to warn you before you get yourself into anything just be open and honest with both girls let them know where you're at mentally and emotionally and don't make any commitments you're not ready to step into because I see this uh, backfiring on you and back to the woman like if you're like um, if you're waiting on a um 
an air sign male, he could be choosing between you and another woman. And he may be actually considering cheating on the other girl with you or just being dishonest or omitting the fact that he's like over there seeing you. So there could be some kind of um, weirdness going on with that. And let's see. What is the final outcome? What is the final outcome? Please give us insight into the outcome of this situation. The full reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. Four of Swords reversed. For the fire sign female or for any female that's waiting for or that the guy just recently broke up with his girlfriend and he's coming towards you or the guy you're waiting for and wondering if that was going to happen and now they are. I see you as having the upper hand in the situation but I do see the other party that they broke up with being very angry very spiteful they might spy on this person that's coming towards you they might find some things out they might be dragging your name through the mud his name through the mud or both of you so be prepared for that I don't see it really affecting you two very much other than just kind of looking at it like a uh, really like that's childish, so I don't really see it going beyond that point. But I do, I do see you two finding great comfort in each other and uh, pulling away from everyone, your friends, your family, and just having like <clears throat> time to yourselves, like being together and apart from the crowd. So being with the one you love apart from everyone else and having everyone out of your business, you will be able to establish um, a, certain, a great deal of privacy to where no one's able to look in on you two. Um, it's almost like there's going to be a bubble of protection around you two. Almost like this is um, being divinely guided from the powers that be whatever it is I feel like you two are meant to come together and that there is a protection around you and there will be um, and so okay well that was it and I hope you liked it um, if you would like to get notified when I com come out with the uh, new videos you can subscribe to my channel and also, I'm available to take private readings now, so if that's something you're interested in, um, you can email me at virgorising33 at gmail.com. My lowest um, price for my readings is uh, one question for, um, it's a 10 minute reading, and it's one question, and it is $5, okay? And that's my lowest reading, and it goes up from there, okay? So, um, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and please join me in my next videos, okay? Bye.